Yeah, what's good, dummy? Yeah, shorty, we back with another one on my mother, Mo. <laughs> that was my best DMV impersonation, as we got a great DMV matchup with the Virginia State Trojans bringing in the Bowie State Bulldogs who look high flying. But I ain't gonna lie, man, them Trojans been looking good too. We got a good matchup coming up for you. Game Day Nation, <laughs> let's ride. And would it be in the Trojans' homecoming? They come out to show a statement as they force a three and out on the first drive. Jordan Davis in this Trojan offense is looking to set the tone early as they get him to bite on that double move. And they're looking to move the ball down the field early. But the Bulldogs come up with a clutch pass breakup. If you ain't seen Bulldog football this season, well, I'm let you know right now. They're going to play a lot of defense. They're going to hit you in the mouth and they're going to tell you about it. Just like Mikhail Williams did right here on this third down. And off of a bad punt. The Bulldogs take the ball and they move down the field expeditiously as Deion Golick Jr. completes one of his three touchdowns to Quincy Hall as they put up the first points of the game. And this is my first time seeing the Bulldogs play this year. And man, I loved how they played defense. The play action tries to go, but Sean Tober comes in and punches that ball out and they turned up out there. They playing like they heard the critics said that they ain't as lit as they used to be no more. <laughs> They got someone to prove to y'all. He just showed you that he can do it with his arm. Now Dion just shows you he can do it with his legs as well. He changes the snap count as he gets the D tackle to jump right there. So he knows he has a free play, throws it up to his best receiver, Morgan Scrogus, to go up there and make a great catch. But after that, the Trojans stood tall as they stand tall on the goal line to prevent no touchdown to only give up three points, 10-7 buoy. But the difference in the game is that the Trojans were not able to block the Bulldogs up front as he throws this ball away on third down. The Bulldogs get the ball back as they're running the ball to try to get more points before the end of the first quarter. They move the ball all the way down the field to the goal line as they give it to backup quarterback Larry Williams to go over the top like Cam to put the Bulldogs up 17-0. The Trojans get the ball back as Jordan Davis is looking down the field, but like I said, man, the Trojans cannot handle them Bulldogs as the quarterback fumbles the ball, Bulldogs come up with it, Bulldogs ball with under 30 seconds before the end of the first quarter. And you would think the Trojans were staying tall. You only got 30 seconds. Don't allow nothing big. But nope, it doesn't happen. They find Kashani Hickley for a wide open touchdown to put the Bulldogs up 24-0 first quarter. But at the start of the second quarter, Jordan Davis said, man, I'm done with this. Throws a missile down the field, finds his freshman receiver, Malik Hunter, with a crazy acrobatic catch. So now I'm thinking, okay, let's go. Let's have a good game. But that D-line from Bowie State, them Bulldogs was hunting. And with this game being dominated by the Bulldogs, the Trojans said, we had enough of this. They turn it up on defense, finally get some pressure up front, and they force a huge sack on third down to give them back the ball. Now the Trojans haven't really done much moving the ball on the ground, but right here they have a missed tackle, which leads to a first down. And with this read option by Jordan Davis, the Trojans finally have some life as they get in the end zone for the first time in the game. And after that great last stop from the Trojans, they're looking to make the same thing happen again. But Deion Golan Jr. isn't going for that as he drops off a dime to his receiver for a first down. And like I said, man, he can do it with his arms. He can also do it with his legs. I don't know how he escapes that sack, but somehow he does. Rolls out the pocket and brings it down to the 90 yard line. And I ain't gonna lie, I don't know if the Trojans read the scouting report, but every time Larry Williams came into the game, he's running the quarterback power as he runs it again for another touchdown. And with under a minute and 30 left into the half, Jordan Davis dials up the two minute offense as they're trying to get points up. Now with 10 seconds left, right on the goal line, no other than Mikhail Williams comes up with a huge sack picked up by Joshua Pryor who takes it all the way down to score. But a illegal block in the back at the 40 yard line brings the ball all the way back. That takes the Bulldogs out of field goal range and we're going to halftime 31-7. Fresh out of halftime, Jordan Davis tries to trick play and it works, but his receiver tries to go full Odell on him. Two hands, son, two hands. And on third down, they try to sneak in the run, try to get that first down, but it doesn't happen. Bulldogs ball. And with the Bulldogs with a command to lead, they're just trying to move the ball gracefully down the field, run off the clock. And after this run on third and short, after they get this first down, you can just tell that the Bulldogs are trying to get out the game. And after a series of run where the Bulldogs couldn't convert, you could just see what Jordan Davis had to do with the whole game, pressure on his face with nothing to go to. 
And with the Bulldogs obviously running the ball, this play action was a nice call to open up Kashane Hickley for his second touchdown in the game. And this pretty much wraps it up for Bowie State. 41-14 was the final score of the game. And I ain't gonna lie, man, Bowie State had a lot to say after the game. They heard the talk, they heard the critics, but they want y'all to know that they ain't going nowhere and they ain't ducking no smoke. This is exactly what you don't do. You don't schedule us for your home cousin. You go to All I gotta say is, you walk in your trap. Take over your trap. Yeah. Walk in your trap. Take over your trap. That's what we do, man. Walk in your trap. Take over your trap. Walk in the trap. Take over your trap. Walk in the trap. Take over your trap. Walk in the trap. Take over your trap. On the man. <laughs> Y'all, it's game day. When the band is what you hear and everybody here is cheering, all your worries disappearing. Y'all, it's game day. Whether televised or streaming live in person while you're screaming, no more waiting, no more dreaming. Y'all, it's game day. 